Hi everyone, I'm John Oden. Welcome to our video series on IP addressing and subnetting. One of the challenges for anyone who sets out to learn about networking is the understanding of IP addressing and subnetting. Most all training materials and courses deal with this topic in one way or another, but the treatment is often brief. You may learn some concepts and terminology, perhaps a few shortcuts along the way, but at the end, maybe you still have that feeling that you just don't get it. The purpose of this video series is to help you make sure you get it. Sure, I'll show you some shortcuts eventually, but first I want to make sure you have a fundamental understanding of the material so that when we get to the shortcuts, you'll understand why they work the way they do. This series is going to be broken into a number of short videos, each one covering an important topic. I'll give you lots of practice along the way, so be sure and use that pause button to stop and make sure you understand everything before moving on. Okay, let's get started. Hey everyone, and welcome to our video series entitled Subnetting Demystified. This is a multi-part video series of which this introductory video is the first. As you can see on the screen, not only will we be discussing subnetting, but we'll also take up some topics that lead up to subnetting, and then we'll go beyond. This presentation will be a little different than most because I'm not going to be flashing a bunch of PowerPoints. I'll be doing it on a whiteboard, and I'm going to encourage you to take out pencil and paper and work along just as if we were in a classroom environment. And we are. It's just a virtual classroom. We'll begin with the discussion of IP addresses and IP addressing. And as I noted earlier in the introduction, this video series is intended to help you gain an understanding at a fundamental level. So we'll have a video that covers binary math. So when I start drawing ones and zeros, you'll know what's going on. We'll also have a video entitled Address Classes, which will cover something called classful addressing. And we'll discuss the problems and limitations that we encounter when we limit ourselves to this addressing model. And then we'll move on to something called classless interdomain routing, sometimes also called CIDR. And we'll talk about how to understand CIDR notation. And we'll understand what is a network prefix. From there, we'll move on to our primary subject material, which is this idea of subnetworks and subnetting. This video will show us why all of the discussion about subnetting, and I'll hopefully be able to help you get an understanding of why this topic is as important as it is. From there, we'll get into the actual mechanics of subnetting. We'll use everything we've learned up to this point and apply it to the problem of taking a given network space and chopping it up into smaller networks, which is the essence of what subnetting is all about. One of the primary drivers behind learning to master this material is because there are lots of IT exams that require you to be able to carry out subnetting computations quickly and without any assistance from subnetting tables or subnet calculators. In the video on fast subnetting, I'll show you some tools and techniques that you can commit to memory that will help you work through any subnetting problem using nothing but pencil and paper. In many cases, you'll be able to do it in your head. Finally, we'll have a look at supernetting which is the exact opposite of subnetting. Supernetting is the idea of taking a number of smaller subnets and combining them into a larger network that contains all the pieces. This is an essential skill when you're setting up route summarization. So thanks for tuning in. Now, lots of folks find this material challenging and at a certain level it can be, but it's very rewarding to master these techniques and be confident that you can solve any IP addressing problem anywhere, anytime with nothing but a pencil and a piece of paper. So to get started, be sure and join us in our next video where we'll undertake the topic of IP addressing.